Good morning everybody, this is North Kind Prepper. Today, we're going to use a press you saw earlier. This is the original used for it. The towels was a kind of an afterthought. But, um, I went ahead and comp uh, dehydrated some uh, tomato soup that I've made by adding all my good stuff to it and everything I like. But nothing really, um, nothing, uh, material. Like, you know, pastas or whatever. Basically... There's a soup called by Knorr, K-N-O-R-R, -R, called, well, I pronounce it Ebenwurst or whatever. I've been trying to do this for a long time. Basically, it's a split pea soup. This has ham in it, so I don't know. I'm going to dehydrate that later and try it, but it's not important to this video. Basically, we're going to make, make food tabs. Three-quarter inch. I washed and sterilized everything. Um, got to have your working area very clean for this. And we're going to go ahead and compress it down tabs now. You can also do the same thing for making your own pills. Um, I just put a bolt in the bottom of a socket and then take another socket. This just happens to have something there. but And you, you get a bolt of the, a nut of the same size and press it down. I know, I'm sure a lot of guys in Colorado or whatever are going to, are going to use this to make their, uh, their compressed pollen, pollen press. Or... Uh, Whatever, you could use it to make compressed teas if you want, but it's the same thing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'll probably make one or two tablets depending on how much I can get down in there. So let me go ahead and put my sterilized coins in there. Because I boiled it all so I sterilized it, by the way. You want this very clean because you're dealing with food. So we're going to go ahead and put one coin in there. There we go, one coin. And then I'm going to put as much as I can of the soup in there. I'm thinking probably half. Half of that will get compressed down. And we'll see. Um, I won't necessarily use the whole bolt here. I'll probably just use the nuts. Now if you really need a lot of torque on this. Or a lot of pressure. Not torque. What you can do. Is use a bottle jack. I have a, I have a, a, a 10 ton. I think 10 or 12 ton press in storage. But it's in the very back of my storage. I ain't going to do it. <clears throat> but if you needed to. You can put this together, like this, you know, and then you can put on a bottle jack and set it under your car frame and jack it up, you know, with the bottle jack, jack it up like this under the frame, that'll compress it as much as you need. So, or you can put it in a doorway and put a block of wood and, you know, jack it on the side. But, you know, you don't want to push your drawer frame out or break it, so I'd go with the car frame myself. Just put it under your car and jack it up, jack the bottle jack up, but... Let me go ahead and put as much as I can in there, and then we'll compress it down and see what we get. So, I'll be back in just a moment or two once I get that uh, loaded in there as much as I can by hand. And we'll press and press. And I may uh, put some flour on there, just sprinkle it, which will act like a soup thickener, but it'll also uh, lubricate to get out a lot easier. So, I'll be right back. I'll probably just sprinkle a bit and then do it. I'll be right back. Okay, so what I've chosen to do is roll it up like this, and then cut out the pair of scissors, so I can just go ahead and push it in like that. And let's go ahead and get that a little bit compressed. Should do a little bit more, but I'll go do that, and I'll get that compressed, and I'll be right back. All right, so there's the first bit. Here, let me focus on that. There's the first bit compressed down. I put a little bit of powder on the coin to test it, so make sure it come back off. So let me go ahead and get the rest of that in there and see if we can press half of it too, and I'll be back. Okay, as I suspected, I'm going to get half a can of soup, which is fine because that's one serving. God, that's good. I got to piece my mouth now. Pretty good. Okay, anyway, your fruit leather, or your, I guess tomato leather in this case, or my, my soup, is compressed in here, half of it. So we're going to go ahead and do this, and we put a little flour on there to keep the quarter from sticking. And I'm going to apply pressure for about 10 minutes, and then apply another turn to the compress. Like I said, if I wanted to really do it all at once, I'd just do it like this, or I'd do this, because I was sitting there and jack it up under the car, and i compress it down a little small. But the more you compress it, the longer it's going to take to rehydrate. Kind of waterproofs it a little bit. So this would be one serving, because half a can is one serving. So two of these would be two servings, but one one compressed in, in um, what is this? 
I forgot. 15 16 sake is one serving. Um, for the homemade urban worst or a P1, because it has ham in it, I'll probably have to get a one and a half inch socket and do that for a bigger one or a pipe or whatever you want, but this is simple. So let me go ahead and get this all compressed down as much as we can. And basically we just compress it. <clears throat> and one thing nice about having the nut on there after I get it down a little bit is the nut will line everything up and keep it square because the nut fits just right. But I got this kind of full so. Sorry. Okay. I'll come back in 15 minutes. Um, remove this is a, if you were using this as a pollen press, um, <clears throat> you should probably take and heat it up, I guess. Uh, I don't know a lot about that stuff, but or if you're making teas or anything like that, you would uh, heat it up in the oven and keep retorquing it every whatever, however often you do it, I don't know. <clears throat> but I retorque this in a little bit. It's got a little hot from the compression. Um, I just said you can heat this up, and then we'll get it done, and then we'll seal up the the individual serving. So this is this doesn't make it any lighter than dehydrated food. But it makes it more, uh, well, it's compressed, more space. So, your food patch. Alright, I'll be back once this is, when I'm ready to pull it out, I'll be back. Okay, as you see, it's, uh, been a while, and it's had a chance to extrude up. And we can't focus. But it's extruded through the, the thing there, because I didn't use the bolt. So it wasn't as tight of a seal because I had too much in there. I couldn't get the bolts in on top of it. Well, let's go ahead and take that out now and see where we stand. Oh, man, that's tight. There we go. So, let's get that out of the way. Sorry. Okay. So here we are with our good stuff. Pull that off, pull that off. I doubt that'll come back out without force. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to have to press that out. I'm going to use an old screwdriver or a screwdriver with the bit pull out and just push it back to the back here. Maybe we need the bit. I need a little bit more space, so we'll put the bit on there. Which is fine, because we're just pushing on the back quarter. Really hard to get out. <clears throat> so here... Oh, dang it. Hold on. There it is. And you can see we bulged the quarter a little bit by the pressure. There's a flower left on there. Guess I didn't put enough. There's that. Now I'll just push that in and trim that like that. There's our compressed soup, and that's one serving. Could probably use some more flour as a release agent. But we actually have the imprint of the quarter on there, which you can't see, but you know if you if you were doing this for your compressed tea or your pollen. You do about half this, or whatever the weight is, I don't know. I didn't weigh this. This is half a cup of soup. Or, or one serving, I mean, not half a cup. And that's probably 100 calories. Um, there's no other stuff in there. If I want to add it, I carry this separately. I carry this separately. This is the compressed food, or the uh, dehydrated stuff. I can add as much or as little as I want of that. 
Um, or you can do some soup of other soups, but it's very good. I like it. Uh, it takes a while to uncompress. This will take a couple minutes to uh, rehydrate because it's very solid. And I'll just put this in a baggie and I'm good to go. And these can be compressed down with a little pill press here and make a little, uh, you know, let's do that. I'll be right back. I'm going to load this one up and compress these into like little snacks. Um, kind of like Starburst, but only hard. So I'll be right back. There you go. It's exactly the same principle. And these make excellent little candies for all your little scraps, the little things that don't really come off when you dehydrate or the things that extrude out. Um, like I said, these make good little candies. They're fruit leather. They're kind of like Starburst. Um, well, your tomato flavor to soup flavor, they're really good. So, that's it. You bag it up and you go and you got your little press for whatever. So, you can press soup. Okay, it's North Carolina Prepper. Please rate and subscribe. Have a great day. Thanks.